Oh, namaste. My name is Hariyar and I am the Enter Trainer and I welcome you to one more little episode of Learning Nuggets from my side. And uh, I keep posting a lot of these videos also on my YouTube channel. So I request you to please go to Hariyar and I am the Enter Trainer and subscribe to the channel. I am the founder and chief mission officer of Hariyar and School of Success Education, HSSC. I am a motivational speaker, corporate trainer, author, and Reiki Grandmaster. Today, I want to talk to you about a very, very interesting subject, which is how do you put resourcefulness over resources? And here, I want to talk to you about the example of the ongoing India-Australia test series in Australia. What a remarkable job the Indian cricket test team is doing there uh, down under. I mean, they're literally down under, you know, at Adelaide when they were all out for 36 in the second innings. And that match that seemed to be in their grasp just quickly evaporated within a couple of hours. And they were written off. And then I think quite rightly so, because how do you expect a team to be performing so badly to bounce back? But they did in Melbourne. And that too, without resources, the world's best batsman Virat Kohli had to come back. One of the best bowlers in the world, Mohamed Shami, got injured. Another great bowler, Ishan Sharma in Test Cricket, could not play because he could not travel to Australia due to injury. And there were issues up and down with injuries, quarantine, an extraordinary test series which is being played despite the COVID situation and with with uh, like 50% attendance in those massive grounds in Australia. Yet the Indian cricket team under a standing captain, Ajinkya Rahane, bounced back in Melbourne. And if that was not enough to make you wonder about the resilience and the nerves of steel of this Indian cricket team, they went to Sydney and they had to bat out four sessions despite injuries to batsmen. They had to bat out four sessions to draw the test. So it was one of the classical draws in test match history. And we are living in times where test cricket hardly enters the fifth day. Many of the matches <coughs> kind of get over within three or four days itself. So how do you put resourcefulness over resources? There's something we can learn from this Indian cricket team. I think the first thing to do is to recognize that you have limited resources and stop complaining about those limited resources and tap into your huge reservoir of resourcefulness that exists within you, which is your resilience. It's your ability to be persistent. It's your ability to fight back from a tough situation. We are all doing that in the last one year or so, isn't it? Who would have thought office would come home we earlier used to bring work from office to home, but now office has literally come home. Multiple professionals in one house with limited space are managing their work life and they're also managing their personal life. It is really putting resourcefulness above resources. Yes, the resources are getting stretched. Like the Indian cricket team in Melbourne and in Sydney, they stretched every bit of the little reserve and the steel that they had to eke out the win and to eke out this draw. And one other great lesson that we can take from the Sydney draw is your ability to survive those tough moments and live to fight for another day. If India had lost in Sydney, they would have been 2-1 down and then they would have had absolutely no choice but to try and win at Brisbane and that would have put so much pressure on them. But now the series is one all. And that still gives them an opportunity to win at Brisbane and record a historic series win. Very often, survival is used as a bad word. People think it's a negative word. You should not use that word. But I think what the pandemic and the whole COVID situation has taught us, that if you can survive those tough moments, then you will live to fight for another day. Whether it's a business, whether it's a profession, whether you're doing some kind of freelancing work. I think everybody is going to some kind of a crisis in the world today. And the ones that will emerge from this with strong survival instincts 
are the ones who will know how to maximize scarcity. You see, I grew up in an India in the 70s and the 80s, which did not have too much of resources. We didn't have great malls. We didn't have great facilities. We didn't have telephone connections. Uh, it took four to five years for a telephone connection to come. So we've seen that scarcity. It's a great lesson for the millennials right now to kind of go through all this and emerge from this as better people. So the message that I want to give all of you here is let's master this art of putting resourcefulness over resources because you will never have enough resources. We'll always want more. That's human nature. But when you're denied because of circumstances, situations, contexts, it's your ability to steer clear and navigate through those tricky bylanes of life, which will determine your ability to grow and succeed and make a difference to yourself, your family, and, and to the world around you. So build in resilience, build in the capacity to fight, build in the capacity to work hard, and you know, build in a lot of passion and purpose into what you do. And life can still be very beautiful because things will turn around at one point and because that life is a cycle, it's a circle. And when things do turn around, if you have skilled yourself enough, you have learned enough and you're constantly engaged with what you do, you might just be sitting on a wonderful opportunity that might knock on your door at that time and you will be ready to grab that opportunity. But it's all going to take a lot of patience. So do take good care of yourself. I hope I could add some value to you through this uh, the little video that I'm doing for you. And uh, do subscribe to my YouTube channel. And uh, till we meet again, God bless you. Thank you very much.